Um, I just saw that the Busher boys out in the, um, the little tunnel there, and uh, they're getting another free haircut at Great Clips. So um, they're going to hate. Great Clips is not going to like Antoine Hoppen now because he, he comes on the field and he creates something, and we get another uh, third goal. So um, we'll open up for questions. Because he keeps scoring now on 47. What's that? Antoine keeps scoring every time he comes on. He's got. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little electric uh, coming off the bench. In, in a game like today where there's some tired legs out there, um, he comes on and brings a lot of energy. And um, you know, it's fantastic to see. Because that third goal, I mean, that, that, it looks a lot easier, that game right now, because uh, it's 3-0. And, but if they get one back, you know, it gives them all life, and it could change everything. So we talked about it at halftime. We needed to get that third goal. Be that third goal. Were you concerned coming out of the gate? We nearly had that third goal coming out of the locker room. Were you concerned after that and they come back and haunt you? Yes, definitely. Um, you never like to see it. you come out and you, you think you have one. And, you know, we, again, we said we, that's what we needed coming out. We act, needed to act like it was 0 0 coming out of the locker room. Um, and we didn't get it. And then the game went on and on, and you're thinking you're fighting. Uh, and against a team like that, you know, although I felt like we, we had had the, the better to play for sure, um, you, you give them up one and they're going to come back at you really hard. So. Toronto undefeated in five. Were you surprised at how negatively they came out? I mean, the conditions today are really tough to play in. Um, and, and it was tough for us too because, you know, I, I know they've had a lot of games, but I, I, we've had a lot of games. Um, and you just got to make sure that you mentally and, and physically you go out there and to the best of your ability you know, do your job. And, and credit to our players, um, they certainly did that. Can you talk about how Freddie did today? Freddie was really good. Freddie was really good. Um, uh, I'm happy for him because uh, we all know he's capable of that kind of game. And for him to go out and do it was fantastic. So um, that second goal was, was really good, but he created a lot. Early in that game, um, we were able to find him uh, in some really good spots. That they did a great job. Coach, you want to talk about how, like you know, a lot of times teams get two O leads. You want to look at maybe defensive subs, but you put Antoine in there just as an offensive sub. How it changes the complex of the game too. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, you know, and, um, and certainly in that kind of game, we needed the third goal. So for him to come in, it's a great situation again. As I said, um, good for him to, to get the third one. Talk real quick about, you know, tactically, what the team is doing better now, especially the first time to Toronto. Well, I mean, tactically, I think we, today, just comparing the two games, we kept the ball a lot better. And we made them chase in the first half, uh, and, and really we felt like in these kind of conditions, a team that dictated the rhythm and tempo of the game, um, you know, we were going to make the other team do a lot of work, and I think that, that was uh, pretty evident. First half, especially in the latter part of the first half. You can see there, there's a, a core developing between Jack and Freddie. I mean, they make so much happen after, especially in the first half. Yeah, it was, it's it's great to see. I, I think it, it goes, you know, to a lot of you're always talking about as as a coach uh, the connections to the guy next to you and in front of you and behind you, and um and and there is a lot of uh, guys that are on the same page right now, playing for each other. That's what a good team is all about. Um, and uh, certainly we displayed that today. John, the team has scored 15 goals in the last six games since you took over. Is there one thing specifically that you can point to as the line of offense clicking, or is it just a general mindset? Is there a difference? Um, well, I think we have good attacking players. And I think they um, feel like they have some freedom to go to goal. And we've been encouraging them to go to goal. You know, um, and. Fortunate for us, you know, they're firing the back of the net, and that, that means everything. Um, and we're doing it with a lot of different guys. We're very mobile in our attack. Um, I think that makes it hard for opposing defenses. But at the end of the day, it's players are making plays, and that's fantastic to see. Who's going to carry this momentum into Wednesday? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I mean, Wednesday is a big day for us because uh, you know, I heard the Suns have been chanting, "We want the cup," and. Uh, we all want the cup, you know, so uh, it's a big, big game. Um, I think every game is a big game for us right now. Um, but we're, we're going to try to make sure that we uh, recover from this one, get the guys, uh, you know, it's a tough environment to, 
come back from and, and play on Wednesday 100%. But, you know, we're going to do everything we can to be ready for it. John, just your thoughts on Roger finally getting some minutes and come back from injury? Yeah, that, that was important because Roger, Roger, um, you know, he's, he's come back, he's been in training, but we've played so many games that it hasn't been great for Roger because, you know, he's been in the 18, he, he hasn't been training as much. You know, we come back and have a regen day and it's a shorter session for him. So my point is, is that, you know, Roger just needed to get in some conditioning to get game fitness. Um, the best way to do that is to play. So it was really good to get him back uh, in a game and, uh, again, we'll just try to continue to work with him and make sure he's ready when called upon. The movie's making it pretty tough for you to decide once you know Bakari is fully healthy. Just talk about the way he played today and just as, you know, tenacity out there with the ball. Yeah, he made a tackle, a movie did in the first half, which um, he has to make or, you know, Toronto's going to have Coder and Zen Johnson going 2v0 um, to go and it's fantastic and he keeps on doing that. Um, but the ability and his composure back there and finding the next pass, um, making timely tackles, as I said, but also winning head balls, winning a lot of critical moments, well, he's been really good. So um, I probably sound like a broken record, but I'm really happy for him. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Our last Thanks.